In this video, we're going to take a look at creating box and whisker plots. All right, to create a box and whisker plot, what we need is five different values. We can get those from our set of data. Um, the five different values that I need are the minimum. Let me get the right tool here. <laughs> the minimum, the maximum, the median, our first quartile and our our third quartile and we'll talk about how to find each of those as we work our way through these examples here so we need to find those five values we'll place those on a number line and from there we can create our box and whisker plot okay so for, to find the median first of all I need to get my set of data in order so I'm gonna start by doing that with this set of data right here, I can start by with the number one. So one is my first one, and I'm just going to kind of cross them off as I use them here so I make sure I get them all and don't repeat. Then we've got a three and another three. Then let's see, we've got two sixes, so six, six. And then we've got two sevens, seven, seven, and finally a ten. Okay. Now, I need to find the minimum, maximum, median, and the first and third quartiles. Okay, let's start with the minimum and maximum, because those are pretty straightforward. So the minimum is the smallest in the set. In this case, it's just one. The maximum is the largest in the set. In this case, it's 10. Okay, we've got those taken care of. Then I need to find the median. Well, remember to find the median that's the middle number when our sets in order so there's one two three four five six seven eight values in my data set and the middle of my set falls right here right between these two sixes there's four values smaller four values larger so right between there well the average between the two sixes is still six so in this case the median is going to be six okay then I need to find the quartiles and to find the quartiles, what I'm going to do, the first quartile is really the median of the first half of the data. So here's my middle again. And to find the first quartile, I'm going to look at this section of the data. And I want to find the middle of that. Well, there's four values. So there's two smaller, two larger. And just between here, well, that would also be three. So my first quartile is going to be 3. Then I do the same thing on the upper half of my data. And I find the middle of that. That's going to be my third quartile. Well, 7 and 7. Uh, the middle of that is just that 7. So now I have my five pieces of data, or my five points, that I can use to draw my um, box and whisker plot. So. I'm going to start out here, just a, a number line, and let's see, we're going from 1 to 10, it appears, so I'm going to go from 0 to 10, so I'll just go, this is 0, this will be 10, then 5 would be here, and then we got to break these up, so 1, be 3, 2, 4, same kind of thing over here, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay, so now we've got our number line, and we need to plot each of those values on that number line. So I'm going to start with the minimum, that's right here at 1. Then the maximum's over here at 10. Then the median is at 6, so right there like so. The first quartile is at 3 and then finally the third quartile is at 7 now I've got all my points so how do I make my box and whisker plot well I start from the first one the smallest one here and I draw a line to the to the next one I do the same thing from the other end okay those are my whiskers of my box and whisker plot then the middle three points are gonna make my box so right here, I'm going to draw in my box, just 
like so and then finally we draw the vertical line right through the median there okay so there's my box and whisker plot to represent that data alright let's look at this next example in this case again we want to find the three different or excuse me the five different points which will allow us to put together our box and whisker plot so let's start with the minimum well the minimum is the smallest one let's see it looks like two so my minimum is two I'm gonna leave a little space here so I can put them in order in a little bit then the maximum is the largest one well that's also ten so my maximum is ten then I need to find the median so I have to put them in order so let's go ahead and do that so we have two two let's see next smallest is three then we've got a five and a five then seven eight and ten okay so the median remember again the median is the middle value of our set when it's in order so let's see one two three four five six seven eight values in this data set again so the middle I'm gonna switch colors here so we can make some marks in this set it's gonna fall right between those two well again my two middle values are the same so the median is just gonna be five alright then I need to find those quartiles again remember the first quartile is the median of the lower half of the data set so in this case we have the middle there's two there's two so my middle is gonna be right there right between there what's between halfway between two and three or the average of two and three well that would be two point five okay then the median of the upper half that's the third quartile so halfway between those average of seven and eight which would be seven point five okay so now we have our five points so I'm gonna go ahead and make my box and whisker plot so I start with my number line here just draw out a number line just like so then put my values on there well this one's going from two to ten so I'll just go from zero to ten again get all of our stuff set out here just like so okay then I'm gonna plot each of my points so the minimum is here at 2 my maximum is over at 10 the median is at 5 right here the first quartile is at 2.5 so that's gonna fall right between 2 and 3 right about there and finally my third quartile is at 7.5 so that would be right there then remember the whiskers are the two outside points coming in like so there's my whiskers then I make the box with the middle three points and the bottom part and then draw our line right in the middle at the median just like so and there's my box and whisker plot okay now what's the use of box and whisker plots well if we look remember that the data 25 percent of the data is in each chunk of the box and whisker plot so 25 percent of my data set is in this piece right here 25 percent there 25 percent or one-fourth in each of those pieces so it kinda gives us a visual of how concentrated or spread out the data is at different sections of the number line also another thing that we can find from box and whisker plots that we might be interested in is the inner quartile range well the inner quartile range is the difference between the third quartile and the first quartile it's essentially the length of the box so let's find the inner quartile range of our two box and whisker plots right here 
So this one is 7 down to 3, so 7 minus 3, interquartile range for this one is 4. Then this one is 7.5 to 2.5. Subtract that, the interquartile range for my second box and whisker plot here is 5. Again, I got that by subtracting the first quartile from the third quartile. So we subtract those two things, that's our inner quartile range. That tells us where the middle 50% of the data is, the box. It tells us how long that range is, where those middle values occur. So box and whisker plots, again, we need to find five values. The minimum, the maximum, the median. Those are pretty straightforward. And then the first quartile, remember, we just split our data set in half, find the median of that first half of the data, and finally, the third quartile, we split our data in half, and we look at the upper half of the data, find the median of that part. Interquartile range is really the length of the box, which is, represents the middle 50% of the data. And to find that, we just subtract the third quartile minus the first quartile. I hope this video was helpful. Keep working hard on your math, and I know you'll do great.